I don't like making these videos, but I have to. I have to expose the people that come to my town who expose their own children to a life of lies, deception, to a life of panhandling. I have gotten so many messages in the last 10 minutes. I'm still getting them. Telling me about a family of panhandlers over here by Tractor Supply. It's currently 88 degrees. It's been in the 90s all week. It's the uh, Thursday after Memorial Day. And it's the first group of uh, panhandlers that brought their family. I'm coming in the back way. I'm going to go pull behind where I think I normally do. I haven't decided yet. I haven't really decided whether I uh, should go look for their vehicle first or what, but. We're just going on the fly here. I mean, you might end up going into my pocket. Oh yeah, I see their van over there. Okay, they're going in my pocket. I'm gonna actually go in and offer them five bucks that I have. Let's see if I can learn anything about them. Family of kids sitting under the tree. Nice minivan over there. Now, more than likely, when I go up and confront, I'm going to give them the $5 first, see if I can talk to them. And if they let me talk to them, then I'm going to offer them the 5 bucks, Or I might just offer them the 5 bucks first. I don't know. Don't want to get beat up, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, there are tons of kids out there. No gas, no food, it says. We're driving a temporary tag. Ruben and Betty. Nice Toyota Senate. Oh, from Colorado. They're from Colorado. A Toyota Sienna from Colorado. All right, let me see how this works out here. Colorado. How are you doing? From Colorado? And out of gas? Come on. Really? No gas, no food. What is this? Huh? What's that? Camera? Yeah. It's a little cell phone. Yeah. Huh? No very good thing. No very good thing? I don't understand what that means. What does that mean? I'm so sorry, no speaking is very good. Oh, he seems pretty, pretty good. She speaks pretty good. Oh, and a baby too, man. Huh. Not really the life to live, is it? Really the life to live? Where were you guys before this, Walmart? Escanaba? Marquette? Come from Wisconsin, maybe? Nice gentleman there, $20. Helping the scamming family in our town. Encouraging them. I hope, I hope that's not where you work, man. I really don't. I really hope that's not where you work. That's terrible. On the back of your shirt. Nothing. You're good. But anyway, I just let you guys know you'll be on YouTube probably in the next hour. Um, most people in the UP already know about you guys. Maybe not you in particular, but families like you that travel with your nice brand new vehicles almost. 
out of state, out of gas, out of food. But it's nice of him to give you 20. I'm sure there's other idiots like that too. There's plenty of idiots in this town. Oh, nice, beautiful. Help the scammers out. You're doing a wonderful job. Yeah, it's still recording. But, what's when do you guys make a day, really? 100 bucks? 200? Probably stay at a pretty nice hotel. Kids gonna do this their whole life or what? Raising your kids to be the scams when they could actually do something for the community? But, yeah, alright. Oh, I got all the footage I need. Thank you. I was gonna give you money, but no. Not with kids. That's just crazy. I mean, not too shady of a van, you know what I'm saying? Look at how many temporary tags I've been using. July 8th. That's crazy the information that you might be able to get off of that, but look at Reuben and Betty. I, I didn't know it was Reuben and Betty. What a shame. What a total shame. Isn't that just the craziest stuff you've ever seen? Literally traveling. They just got 40 bucks. Like right then and there, 40 bucks. I'm sure somebody else would come and give more money. Because, you know, you see a family out here with five kids in the hot sun on an 88 degree day. And you feel bad for them. Because you really don't know that this is their living. They travel across the country. Pretty much Walmart to Walmart. Walmart's right. Walmart is right past this building and down below. So they literally travel all across the country and do this. And you see, they got a great location right there. Roll the windows down here. Oh, it just makes me shake. Just makes me shake. Look at them running out, blocking traffic, getting more money, acting like they don't speak English. The little girl spoke very good English, and she knew what was in my pocket too. Which is funny. But yeah, I'll put them on YouTube. Guarantee you will see this family around more. Guarantee it. <sighs> Just pisses me off. What next? Escanaba? Marquette? Houghton? To the south of here, there's Menominee and Marinette. It's funny, he's holding the sign over his face now, but it's too late. I was literally running the camera the whole entire time. What, is he embarrassed? That's just nuts. More people stopping. Most of them are trying to turn and they're jammed up, you know. Look at the traffic up here at the intersection. They're going to cause an accident making all those cars stop. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's not against the law to panhandle at all. But I'm sure they like to uh, follow up and just see who's doing it. But yeah, there's no law against panhandling. The only way that they would told, be told to leave or whichever would be if uh, property owners here kick them out. But it is what it is. But yeah, it's funny, a couple of uh, viewers commented that I should get some of those, uh, what are they, the, the tracking devices, the little, I don't even know what they are, what they're like little tracking devices you put on vehicles. Anyway, not that I would do that. I think that would be pretty bad on my part to put a tracker on somebody's vehicle. However, 
I do think it would be pretty funny to walk up on them filming as I do, holding an empty box. <laughs> what do you think about that? That'd be kind of funny. Them spending hours and hours and hours searching their vehicle and not finding it because I never would put one on there. Yikes. You know, after watching them, after watching people just drive up and hand them money, just hand them money. Here's a 20, here's a 20, here's a 20. I'm serious, they made $100 in the last five minutes I've been sitting here. But obviously, me and you, we're in the wrong profession. Where else can you go stand on a street corner with your kids and make $100 an hour? And if they sit out here for eight hours, you think they'll make 800 bucks in one day, in one town? And then when they feel unwelcome, they'll move 50 miles to another town and do it again for another day, two, three? They teach their children, this is the way to go. This is the way of life. This is how you survive in the world. What a shame. I mean, really, the only smart ones are them sitting in the shade. Doing nothing. Just having people walk up and give them money because no gas, no food. I really wish I had the time to sit here the entire day and watch them. I really do. I, however, have better things to do. I will, uh post this video out there this Thursday night hopefully uh, it'll be shared around area Facebook groups and uh, maybe pages share it to your friends if you live in upper Michigan or northern Wisconsin and keep an eye on these people because they just got a hundred dollars they could easily put a full tank of gas in their vehicle and plenty of food but instead, they'll sit out here and uh, run back and forth and get money from people. Anyway, like I said, I just wanted to expose them. And by expose, I mean document them. And get good video of them so others can see. To look for their vehicle, to look for places they go. And now you know the truth just crazy anyway 90 degrees in the hot sun before I pass out from heat stroke I am leaving here make sure to hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button hit that share button make a comment below and again I have a uh, full um, playlist of stuff just like this of families that have done this in the past and uh, this is the first family this year I'm not surprised I am, however, surprised at the amount of people that walked up and just gave them $20 as I was standing there. And still driving up and giving them money now. You people are fools and you encourage this activity. You encourage little kids to never have to look for work or think about work because their life is just a scam handed to them on a silver platter. What a shame. What a total shame.